Welcome to the Dallas Cowboy Studio slash office. I'm your host, Difference Maker, real name Karsten Miller. Today we are going to talk about the Word of God. Today we are going to allow the Word of God to humble us. So as you hear the Word of God, as we talk about the Bible, let God's word prick you, let God's word humble you, let the Lord encourage you that you may walk in the word of Jesus Christ, serving Christ with a humble heart and a pure mind. This has been Difference Maker saying to you, welcome. Dallas Cowboy Studio slash office in today's presentation. morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Difference Maker here coming to you live from the Dallas Cowboy Studio slash office continuing our series in learning humility by examining pharisaical pride. Part 5. Our scripture reading is Matthew 23 verses 8 through 11. But do not be called rabbi, for one is your teacher. And you are all brothers. Do not call anyone on earth your father. For one is your father, he who is in heaven. Do not be called leaders, for one is your leader, that is Christ. But the greatest among you shall be your servant. Growing up, I learned I should always make a name for myself. I was taught people should view me as the source of something big. You are not anybody, Karsten, unless somebody knows who you are. My type of thinking was just a product of pharisaical pride. It rejoiced in having a name. Humility never exalts itself to the realm which belongs solely to God Almighty. Now let's look at this part of Pharisaical pride found in verse, verses 8 through 11 of Matthew 23. Now this particular text can become very confusing at first glance. It is easy to read the text and begin making ambiguous assumptions. Some of these assumptions have gone so in so much that some have gone to the extreme by not even referring to their own father as their earthly father. Understanding the context helps make clear what distinctions Jesus is condemning the Pharisees for. Now let's recap those. Verses 2 through 7 deal with the Pharisaical pride as an issue of the heart. They placed themselves in authority. They made rules for others to follow void of love, which they didn't even practice. And they loved to be seen by having the preeminence. All of this supplied their heart with the idea of becoming a god to men. So the final icing on the cake would be to consider themselves the source of all these so-called spiritual things they wanted. And that is exactly what the attitude of pride, verses 8 through 11, are dealing with. The desiring of a name was fostered by the longing to be the spiritual sources for the people. In other words, true spirituality was to come from them and not from Christ alone. And what is this called? Idolatry. And it is a prideful sin which the Lord hates. Exodus 20 verses 2 through 3 and Deuteronomy 7 verse 25. Flee from desiring to have a name for yourself. Run from considering yourself the guru of spiritual things. The Pharisees wanted to be God, similar to the desire of the de devil in Ezekiel 28. They longed to be called rabbi as if they were the only true teachers. They desired to be named leaders and fathers as if they were the only source of all fatherhood and leadership. This is a big no-no according to the word of God. 
That is why John warned his readers to keep themselves from idolatry in 1 John 5 verse 21. Because it brings men and leaders to destruction, as 1 Timothy 3, 6 and Proverbs 18, 12 speak of. Never allow pride to carry you to this point. Humility doesn't consider itself the source of anything. Humility serves the source of all things. Jesus is the Lord to the humble one. It will seek not to not shame the name which it is assigned to it. Humility will honor Christ. When we seek to be seen as the only source for truth or the only path to the right way, we are operating in pharisaical pride. The Lord Jesus Christ is the only way to the Father, but we are the servants who point men to the source. Notice how Paul identifies himself when naming his office in Ephesians 1.1 1, 1, and in Colossians 1.1 1, 1, and 1 Timothy 1.1 1, 1, and so on. He states that he is an apostle of Jesus Christ, not merely just an apostle. Amazingly, he humbly pointed to the true spiritual source and did not take on the name of being the source of apostleship. See the difference with humility? So we let our pride be crumbled by continually honoring the real spiritual source, the Lord Jesus Christ. That is the only name we should seek to glorify in our lives. Some questions for discussion. Have you ever desired to have a name for yourself? And how did the Lord humble you? What do you think is the proper way in handling one who thinks they are the spiritual guru of life. How is the Christian to combat this pride within others? This has been Difference Maker saying to you, remember, don't seek a name for yourself. Don't seek to be the spiritual guru of anyone. Seek humility and be humble and point others to the true source of all spiritual things the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless my beloved. Stay into the word. Oh, that means it's time to go. Hope you enjoyed today's presentation at DifferenceMakerBibleStudy.org. I'm your host, Difference Maker, real name Carson Miller, saying to you, God bless. And remember to study all the biblical texts that were mentioned in the study today. Um, stay away from false teaching, for it is not good for your soul. Instead, remember to proclaim the gospel and listen to expository preaching and teaching. This has been Karsten Miller signing out. God bless my beloved.